Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, December 21st, 2019. Week number... 55? 55. Okay. okay. Double six. nickels. <laughs> 55. 55. You drive 55? Yeah. Maybe. Well, Michigan's 70, but... <laughs> yeah, we're 70 miles per hour here. 70 so. means 80, basically. <laughs> Can't merge on the expressway without being at least 75. Exactly. Or you'll get hit. Exactly. 55 is our back roads, so makes it hard when we travel anywhere else where 55 is expressway speed. Yeah, hey, you feel like you're crawling, don't you? Yeah, like, come on, let's go. <laughs> anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, we are going to give our numbers. I'm going to let Bill go first. Oh, um, last week I was 334.6, and this week I am 333.6, so I'm down a pound. Uh, Throughout the week, I jump on the scale here and there. I try not to do it every day because I don't want to obsess by it. Right. But some days I just get a little frustrated. I see a number go up and I'm like, what the heck, man? Three pounds? What's this all about, right? I think it's got to be a lot of fluids because I don't even physically eat three pounds of food when, well, some days when I see that on the scale. And then right. things correct after a few days. So I try not to get myself too psyched up about it. I know I'm doing right, you know? Absolutely. Just to keep sticking with it. In fact, right now, I'm, I'm just about to end a 40-hour fast. Usually, I try and get in a 24- to 30-hour fast per week. This week, I extended it a little bit longer to a 40, and next week, I'm going to probably try and get in a 48. He's ambitious. I've got to get back into the to the to making this insulin and sugar go down. Uh, my biggest fight has not even been weight. It's been sugar. So... Uh, I want off all the medicines. I'm almost done with the meds. I just did a small trial, if you hadn't seen that, and uh, I was so close. And my goal is by February to be off all meds. And uh, the only thing that's going to do that is getting the insulin down, getting the sugars down, um, fighting that insulin resistance, feeling better, dropping weight, and getting there. It's a little bit sure. You get it. 2020 will be the year, I guarantee it. It will. Because 2019 was awesome. 2019 was very awesome. Yeah. I weighed in last week at 134.6. It is okay. Shark Week. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but today I weighed in at 133.4. Um, it's been a very physical week. I've been working in the bakery at Costco. Doing things <sighs> that you're not used to oh doing. Oh, my gosh. Moving and doing things that your body's Those, sore. Yeah. Those right? trays of pies... Are heavy, especially the apple pie. The pumpkin pie is not so bad, but the apple pie, those are heavy trays. So we've been packaging them and putting them out or selling them as quickly as they come in. Hmm. I've been pushing her for um, uh, a fat free or sugar free, excuse me, sugar free kind of version of some kind of an apple pie. I've been kind of wanting some apple pie. But there's got to be a way to make it. I mean, there's, I know there's recipes out there, just I'm not real good with cooking. Me either. But speaking of food. Food. I'm hungry. But no, I tried from keto, a keto nut granola yesterday from low carb, L-O-W-K-A-R-B dot com. Um, we'll put that link in the description below. Yep. Um, it was wonderful. I had some Carb Master yogurt. And so it was a wonderful treat for me yesterday. It's been so long since I've had, I love crunchy. Um, and it's been so long since I've had granola over a year. Yeah, she's and, a texture person. So yeah, very much a crunch, texture. <laughs> put that crunch in and she is in. Oh my gosh, I was so happy yesterday. Um, it has pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, almonds, pecans, pecans coconut. Um, slivers, I think and they call I it, or chips or whatever. Monk fruit, is the monk fruit and cinnamon. And I think that ended up being like a, a a two net carb or two total carb and two net carb after you took out the sugar alcohols and the, um, the fiber fibers. <laughs> so really, really decent enough for you, you know. And then obviously got you right back in the game with having some yogurt and <sighs> granola. Uh, right after she ate what was in the video, which we probably link above here. Right. Uh, right after she had eaten that, she went upstairs, grabbed another yogurt, grabbed a little container with some more of the granola to take for work for her meal at work. Now, the funny part is 
Um, when we're, whenever we would go to Kroger, I would get the Carb Masters and I would eat one like eh, every other day or so, you know, just to have them in the fridge for me. But now I'm going to have to fight for those too. Well, here's the thing. I don't. Or buy extra. I don't dislike yogurt, but I don't like it by itself. Yeah, so. nobody touches my yogurt. Usually it's in there and I know it's there and I just check the dates and make sure I eat it before it goes bad. Now I'm going to be fighting for that too. It was really good, and I really enjoyed it. No, and I'm I needed happy. it after all the after all the antibiotics. I was supposed to eat the yogurt, right, for the probiotics. It's supposed to be good um, for you. Yeah, I'm taking the actual probiotics. My well, so was I, but don't tell. My stomach's been a mess lately. It has. Yeah. yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't sleep last night, and it was nobody's fault but my own. But I just laid there and wasn't feeling well, so it's a little rough today. <laughs> But we got our daughters home. Uh, one's back from college, so uh, we're gonna have a nice breakfast today. Yeah, keep it keto, obviously. She know. she says, "Mom, can I have one of those chaffle things today?" <laughs> <laughs> she wants a yeah. She wants you to make sure cheese and egg thing. Yep, she was cool. so excited. She goes, "Those are really good." So I'm gonna I'm gonna go make some breakfast, and I think I'm gonna make him a breakfast sandwich. With yeah, the chaffle. I, I might have a a, a birch benders uh, pancake keto mix. A uh, little chaffle type of thing because those are really good. They're not horrible, and uh, you know they're not horrible for you. And you know here and there have one of those for breakfast with yeah. some scrambled eggs and some sausage. So or we started carrying the Birch Benders keto uh, mix at Costco. Oh my gosh, so much better! I think it was seven dollars for ten ounces at Kroger. Don't quote me exactly. It was like thirteen dollars for sixteen ounce on Amazon, and Costco sold. A thirty ounce for like thirteen ninety nine. Yes. Oh my gosh, we are going to Costco. <laughs> I want one <laughs> before they're gone because that's another thing with Costco. They get stuff and then it's there and then I think, oh, I gotta get it and then I go back and it's gone. Right. So I gotta go buy some before check the dates. If it's more than six months out, if it stays good, yeah, maybe I'll get two. We got the cheese folio wraps in as well. We haven't tried those yet. No. We should do. We should just get some. We should do a Costco haul. We need we need some groceries. We do. Let's do a Costco haul. Okay. Let's make Stacy do a Costco haul. I'll give her a little pocket Osmo. She can walk around and talk. <laughs> you didn't like you didn't you seemed to do okay with that before. I we, did, but everybody at work's like, "What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing?" Huh, well, <laughs> it was kind they of all funny. know you're doing keto anyway. They so. do. A couple more people started keto at work, and um, she's been making them foods. Yes. Making them things to try and giving them a recipe, saying. Here's our little cookie. Try this cookie. Here's the recipe for it. Yesterday, Bill, Bill and I both did really good because at Costco in our break room we had bumpy cake. They had Oreo I didn't even cookies. Want to look at it. They had the. Well, I was fasting anyway, so I right. didn't eat anything. But the uh, butter cookies, and then a couple people brought in. There were they're, a lot of treats on all the tables. Yeah. I didn't even look at the tins or any of the trays. And you know what? I was so happy to eat my yogurt and granola. <laughs> yeah. And it was good, too. And you had one of your little cookies. I so, did. So you did have a little snacky thing for yourself. I had a crinkle cookie. That's what you got to do sometimes, you know? You just got to do what you got to do to keep yourself from going crazy. Make yeah. yourself some little cookies that you could have. And then when you go to your holiday party, you take those with you. Absolutely. But you gotta hide them because then all everybody will just eat them all up. <laughs> all the kids will go up and grab one. It looks good. Yeah. Oh goodness. So, um, where are we at on this? I am forty nine pounds down since last year, December first of two thousand eighteen, <laughs> and Stacy is forty six point eight pounds down from December first of two thousand eighteen. Um, you know, those numbers are not amazing. They're not horrible. I think they're pretty good. Yeah. Um, Probably the biggest thing for me is getting off most of the medicines. All Absolutely. the insulins and all those medicines are pretty much gone. I got one little last one, 500 metformin, still hanging around, still sticking its head up saying, ah, you have to take me. So, and it kind of messes with my stomach. I do not like taking it. Yeah, it so does. I can't wait to get off of it. But I will. Hopefully, maybe even by February because that's my next check. Yeah. I do the blood work, the you know cholesterol, the A1C. It'll be interesting because I we both do blood work up in February mm -hmm. um, for our annual physicals, and uh, so it'll be interesting to see where all the numbers are for both of us. And yeah, we'll have to sit down with a little chart and look at our past histories. Mine for eight nine years have been horrible, horrible A1Cs and the nines and stuff, and 
you know, now I'm down. Kicking to, its butt. I'm down to where he's saying you're almost pre-diabetic. You know, if I can get out my sugar under 125, he's considering me not diabetic anymore. And I'm close. There are days I get in the 130s, 140s. And then there are other days I go in the 150s, 160s, and I get frustrated. But it's coming. It's coming. I got to keep. 2020. Got to keep pushing. Got to keep the progress going. Yes. And know that as the weight comes down, it's going to get better. I just wonder where all the sugar comes from when I'm not even eating the sugar. <laughs> it's my pancreas and my liver and everything, whatever, is all producing what it wants to do. Being diabetic is a little bit hard sometimes. It is. Nobody's fault but my own, so I'm going to take responsibility and keep pushing it. Get it out of here. Get it out. Kick it out for 2020. Yep. And get out of the 330s for a change. Darn it. Yeah. I don't think I'll hit it by January 1st, but soon. Very soon, soon. Absolutely. I'm working on it. 333. I'm 133. Gotta notice how we, I always follow him. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're always really close. Last week we were 334.6 and 134.6. And this week 333.6 <laughs> and I'm surprised you weren't 133.6. Right? That would have been, been funny. So, so what's on the pipeline for this week? You gonna do a review with me? You gonna do a recipe with I'll me? I'll do what? a review. Actually, I want to. I found a French toast bake. French you talked toast. about that last week. Yeah. You didn't do it. Well, I did, no, they changed my schedule last minute at Costco. Threw me um, into the bakery. Yeah, throwing me into the bakery. They're running twenty four seven right now. So um, lots of pies. Yeah. So I haven't been getting home until about eleven o'clock at night, and uh, it it's kicking my butt a little bit. Well, it's the holidays, yeah. Yeah. I have a hard time with the holidays, honestly. I mean, I've uh, got a lot of family that I've lost. And, uh, it, you know, it's supposed to be a happy time. And I am happy and I'm fortunate and I'm blessed and, you know, excited about our own kids and our own family and our own progress. But, gosh, you know, I, I, I miss my mom. I miss my dad. I miss, you know, family that I've lost. So, yeah. you know, I don't have a big family. I have just a couple sisters and a brother and a new brother brother that I just found out about like within this last year this has been a crazy year for me yeah but uh yeah there's there's just a lot going on so instead of just always being happy there are moments of reflection of wishing my mom was here you know things like that so every day try not to choke up here but uh yeah I know the holidays are hard for some people and you know hopefully everybody can stick with their programs of their eating and uh try and be happy and count the blessings and the fortunate things they do have and uh, just hope 2020 is an even better year for everybody. It will be. Oh, we also, speaking of 2020, oh, yeah. there's a big thing coming up. Uh, Stephen Blake, he was formerly known as Keto Steve, <clears throat> if some of you might recognize that name instead, uh, had started up a project called The Big One. And basically it's a hype video for 2020 on motivation and sticking with keto or starting keto. And we participated in that with a small little clip of things that we thought were important on that uh, journey, you know, just sticking with it and everything. And uh, I think everybody's kind of taking pieces of everybody else's videos and then mm -hmm. mixing one up together that they'll release at the beginning of the year. So watch for that right after January 1st. Yes. I think it's on January 1st that we're going to release it. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. If I've read it right, <laughs> you know, if I've done it right. But yeah, so watch for that too, because we're going to have a little clip of that. We might even release our clip. And then our clip with everybody else's clips mixed in, just so people could see what our whole thought was. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you for hanging out with us. And uh, let's see if we can get Stacy to do her little French French toast bake. Yes. Um, and, and there are a couple more reviews we need to do, too. That, that granola just came in, and she was super excited about I that. I have been waiting for that. Yeah, we've got... Um, a keto scan meter, which is a breath meter that we need to review. They sent us one of those. And, um, you know, maybe I should even try and do that later today because I have been fasting to see if I can oh, actually yeah. get into ketosis for a change. Uh, that's been my problem is trying to battle the sugars and stay into ketosis. Right. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll sit down and, and do that since I am fasting to see if I can get a reading on the dang thing instead of a, you're not in ketosis reading. Right. <laughs> And then we uh, we actually have a sports massager, too, that came. It almost looks like a big trigger gun. I can use it's it got, right now. I was going to say, it's got all these different <laughs> heads, flat heads, ball heads, and stuff. I have been having a really rough time with my lower back. My sciatica has been just, 
I'll be standing in the kitchen and all of a sudden I'll get like an electric shock through my back because it's just flaring up. Um, Stacy's a little sore. Maybe she'll let me use it on her. But uh, we have used it off camera and I was charging it and reading about it. Darn, darn effective. So I need to plug that thing in and charge it up and uh, do a little review on it because it was really nice of them to send that to us yeah. uh, just to check it out. And we'll throw it up and let you guys see the, all that stuff too. So um, yeah, so watch for more stuff from us this week. And if you want to see anything in particular or a particular recipe or something that we want to make Stacy go out in the kitchen and try, uh, let us know in the comments below and we will certainly look into it. I've gotten her a good half dozen cookbooks over the last couple of weeks. So she's made a lot of notes and a lot of like little side notes of things that she yeah. wants to do and tweaks that she wants to make. It's freezing in our basement. <laughs> it's probably in the 60s right now. And we, we actually have a blanket on us because it's pretty cold down here. It so is. Just that way if you see us a little shivering. A little shiver. Yeah. Not nervous, just cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll have catch a, you next week. Have a great day. See you All later. Right, bye.